Good to see you out. Yeah. Last time I think I saw you had the long hair going. When did that go? It's true. I cut it earlier this year for Locks of Love, the cancer charity. How long does it have to be for that? It has to be 10 inches. Mine was 12, so I had a little room to move. Was it an emotional ordeal for you cutting it? <laughs> had you grown attached? Yes, I had. I got, uh, and I'm still using far too much shampoo. I'm still going, I don't have nearly as much hair as that's necessary. No. Uh, uh, what a waste. <laughs> okay, so you know the gay and lesbian community very well yes, because I of... Queer as folk. I, because of queer as folk, I am gay adjacent. Exactly. Yeah. I'm proud of it, right? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> so how does it feel now that you've gone through that experience of being in that show and kind of living that world in a way to then come out and do, you know, work with organizations like this? It's, it's, it's a great honor, and I'm glad what I do has helped. Uh, but I live under no illusion that my experience on Queer as Folk, portraying a gay man, is any was anywhere near as difficult, as tough, um, or as challenging as it is in real life. And I think that's why an organization like LifeWorks um, and and you know the open arms, open arms kind of idea is necessary because uh, none of us can really understand what somebody else is going through. Try as we might, and and um, oftentimes it takes, you know. It takes mentoring. It takes one-on-one -on -one connection to go, you're going to be okay, you know. Uh, it, I can do it from a distance as an actor. I'm glad to be able to do it. But I harbor no illusions that that's enough. Uh, okay, that was a great yeah, answer. Sorry. I'm taken away. Want, no, that was wonderful. You want a funny answer? Um, <laughs> no, that was great. Um, okay, now you on your own, your personal life. What's going on? What are you working on now? What can we see you in? Tomorrow night, I am filming my uh, uh, stand-up special for Showtime uh, at the OC Pavilion in Orange County. Um, I'm doing an hour and a half. It's a good time. It'll be a very large, funny special. Um, I'm regular on um, the Stephanie Miller show here in Los Angeles and all around uh, the country on, uh, on Wednesdays. They call it Hump Days with Hal. So I do a lot of political talk um, on there. Um, and, then, and then I'm off on tour again. It's, uh, I'm filming this week and then I'm off again. And I go to Dubai and I'm going to Australia and I'm going to China. Um, I'm going to be doing shows in Shanghai in the spring, which is really fun. That These just, are your comedy shows. Yeah, yeah. Well, I speak Chinese, so I'm doing. I'm gonna. I'm, my, the goal is to do a special in English and Chinese from there. I just learned that you can talk politics and Chinese. Yeah, yeah. I'm amazing. And now is our. <laughs> I can see that. Now, when did you pick up Chinese? Well, Chinese isn't something you pick up. It's something you practice quite a bit. And I, I started speaking it because my Kung Fu instructor is from Beijing. And um, he's much older. He's an elderly gentleman. And so out of respect for him, I started picking up enough just to know, know my P's and Q's. And then uh, I just had an ear for it. And I really wanted to learn it. And so I started studying pretty hard a couple of years ago. And now I have 1.6 billion new friends. I'm impressed. That's Thanks. pretty amazing. Wow. And I couldn't even do Spanish class. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm very yeah. impressed. Um, the Showtime special, when can we see that? Um, I'm guessing it'll probably be February-ish. I mean, I've, we're shooting a bunch of like sketches and behind the scenes stuff and that after the special tomorrow. So uh, I guess we'll be editing till the end of the year because it's only going to be an hour on when it airs. The DVD will be longer because my normal stand-up show is about an hour and a half. Um, so we'll have some cutting to do to try and fit it, you know, into the time allotted. Um, but then, you know, and then shortly thereafter, they'll just put it kind of in their schedule. I have, you know, obviously I have a great relationship with the folks at Showtime and, and uh, I'm big fans of theirs. And I, I like where, uh, you know, once we kickstarted the network for them, I'm glad they, they ran with it. <laughs> great. Well, thank you so yeah. much. It was great talking to you tonight. Yeah, you Good too. luck with all your stuff and thank your you. Chinese. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs>